Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Clip Studio's 3D assets in doing simple and easy background for your comics slash manga illustrations. First, to access the 3D materials, click your material folders then scroll down to search for 3D. Here you can see different 3D materials that are free, created by Clip Studio. This material for example. You can rotate it or resize it to your liking. And change its perspective. You can also see here the available position that you might like. Here are more 3D materials examples. Now, I will show you how you can use these materials to create a simple background for your comics. Step 1. First, create a rough draft for your comics. Plan where do you want to put your background and what background you want for that panel. I draw this comic earlier. As you can see, I already did the inking and I also added some tones and shades. Step 2. Select the background that you like to add to your panel. Adjust it according to the right perspective. In this case, I want to use this as my background. Step 3. After you finalize the position that you want, rasterize the layer. To rasterize the layer right click the background layer and click rasterize. Step 4. After rasterizing the layer, navigate to effect on layer properties then click extract line. This will turn your background layer into black and white lines only creating a comic effect. In effect, you can adjust the lines and black fills. You can experiment with how you want the lines to look. You can convert layers to lines and tones to make a quick comic shading, but you can also shade in manually. Step 5. You can leave it like that or you can add shades and tones to it. To put shades on it, select your background layer and go to edit, search for convert brightness to opacity to make the white tones transparent. Now you can put different shades on it under your background layer. Use different textures to make your background more appealing. You can use or download thousands of available Clip Studio texture materials. Step 6. Make sure to balance the tones to make a good contrast between the characters and the background. Here is the rest of the process.
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something.